We're going ice fishing today on Fishing for the Rest of Us. Welcome to Fishing for the Rest of Us. I'm your host, Spencer. If you haven't already, be sure to click the button below and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all the latest video updates here at Fishing for the Rest of Us. Today, I'm going perch fishing, and they're a schooling fish. And we're gonna show you how you can attract a whole school of perch to your area so you can catch fish all day long. To start off a day of perch fishing, I like to use a more active bait, like a jig and minnow or a small spoon. This will hopefully attract a school of perch to the area. And then I have my secondary line rigged up with a live pin head minnow. Hopefully the more aggressive ones will hit the jig and bait, but if they're a little finicky, they should still take the natural presentation of the minnow. I've already gotten a few small taps on the jig, which means I've attracted at least a few small fish to the area. Hopefully, some bigger ones will come hit the jig soon or take the live minnow on my second line. There we go. Oh, not a perch, not what we're after. Got a little baby rock bass. Not what we're after species or size wise, but hey, it's a fish to start off the day. We're getting a bite on the live minnow. Give them that jig in action to attract them to the area and then they seem to be gravitating over to the live minnow. Oh my gosh, baby rock pass. No wonder he took so long to get it. Not much bigger than my minnow, little dude. Here, I will let him keep the minnow, he earned it. Oh, and he spit it in my hole. I tried to be nice. All right, little minnow, go find some perch this time. All right, let's get back to some jigging, try to call some more perch into the area. Oh my gosh, that's a little bass. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, a little jigging minnow bouncing in the water. We'll get this guy back in. I was not expecting a bass. I've never actually caught one through the ice. Go tell the perch to come up. Well, unfortunately, we're not going for bass because they're not in season right now in Canada, but it's good to know that the jigging minnow is calling some fish to the area. Hopefully the perch will roll in shortly. Oh, had another hit on the jig there. Seemed to be just lightly tapping it though.
Oh, there's a perch, not a very big one. But we got a perch on the jig and minnow. First perch of the day, which is what we're after. You gotta open your mouth for me to get the hook out, bud. There we go. Just a baby, but right species. Hopefully his big mom and dad will be in soon. There is another little perch. Again, we're still fishing that jig and minnow. The hits have been light, but they are starting to hit it. So at least we've attracted somewhat of a school to the area. I'm hoping to hit in some of the big guys soon. All right, we're gonna check in on our live bait rig here now that we've caught a few on the jig. See how our little minnow's doing down there. Mine's a little frozen in the ice. It's a cold day and the holes are freezing over pretty quick. Yeah, he's still doing all right. We'll get him back down there. Oh, there we go. Got another bass, just to mix it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, another tiny one. Oh, we're at our new spot. We moved a little bit deeper out. We're now in five feet of water with a nice weed bed underneath us. And uh, so far, still just little guys. But as soon as we got here, started jigging those aggressive baits again, immediately started getting some hits on it. And now the live minnow's going too. Uh, like I said, we're on about five feet of water with a nice weed bed. Uh, this lake does have musky and walleye in it, so the perch tend to stick near the weeds, so they have a little bit of cover to hide in if one of those predators rolls through. There's a little better perch. Oh, barely had him hooked apparently. There we go, another little perch. This one on the live minnow this time. There you go, buddy. There we go, another perch on the live minnow. Catching a few fish in between on the jig, uh, but they seem to slow down a little bit on the jig and seem to be going a little more for the live minnow now. Nice little perch, great colors on that guy. Great right on, get him back in the water. Nice fish. 
Come on, buddy. There he is. Man, this school of perch has really moved in and they're hitting the live minnows hard. Another little guy, but still fun to catch these guys all day long. There we go, nice little perch. There we go. Thought I lost him for a minute there, but he came back for seconds. Another dinky perch on the live minnow. There we go. Man, he really played with his food before he took it. But that natural mineral presentation, even the finicky ones can't say no. Oh man, this has been a great day of fishing on the ice. Nice fish. Well, our camera batteries died on the ice, so I thought I'd wrap things up here today. And of course, I caught the big girl shortly after they powered down, but we managed to get a nice picture of her. Even though the perch weren't quite the size I was hoping for today, as you saw, using an active jigging bait on your primary rod, paired with a live minnow on your secondary rod, can really help pull in a school of fish and provide plenty of bites all day long. We really hope you enjoyed our video today enough to give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all the latest video updates here at Fishing for the Rest of Us. On behalf of the whole crew, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.